Yes, sir. Let's see if we can go back to where you were. Yes, sir. Two weddings ago. Because you're praying for yourself. Amen. You're praying for your church. Amen. You're praying that God will bless you financially, give you the job you're looking for, you're praying. But then there's a time when you have to now intercede. Right. You, Reverend Angel, the same Reverend Angel who's now praying for all those things, will have to now go on our knees, are you ready here listen to me, and then intercede on the behalf of someone else. Uh, people think that when you sow seed, it's the only one to give money. But you sow seed by praying for us. Remember, the last time what we were doing in prayer, what did we do? We pray not just for our church. In fact, when we had the week of prayer, there was one night where I said to the church, now, we are not going to pray for our church tonight. You remember those who were here? But we're going to pray for other churches in the community and not pray for our church. That's what you call intercession. That you put your knees aside and you look out for somebody else. Are you listening to me? So we're praying for other churches that God will pack their places up as a seed prayer to our church that God will move. So are you listening? That's what you call intercession that you're praying for someone else. So here's this man in scripture now. He was doing two things. Now one, he didn't have no food in his house. So he was praying, right, when he went to his neighbor. He went to his neighbor that the neighbor would give him some food. But also, he was interceding for his friend. Because his friend came in from a long journey. Now come on, I don't want to go deep with that. I'll take my time. And, 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 and he, his friend came in. Yes. From a long journey, he was hungry. Frank didn't have no money. So not only was he interceding for himself, that God would bless him with food, but he was also interceding for his friend, because his friend also needs something. Come on, children of God. Thank you. That's what you call intercession. So in the, in the session, intercession or intercession or prayer. All right, now, church, watch this now. Watch this now, church. Here's another point. He went to the man, his neighbor, at midnight. It's past midnight. Now, in those days now, you don't, you don't go to folk past certain hours. Even in today. Amen. Can you just imagine what happened when somebody shows up at your house at midnight, ringing your bell? Everybody gets offended. <laughs> you know, it was this morning my, my wife told me, we're going to put her in more prize today, that my wife told me that her mother was home last night, and her brother from Chicago showed up. And he showed up on and off to give her a surprise, which was a pleasant prayer for the prize. She was so surprised and happy that she ended up in the emergency room. I'm not sure if it was, you know, she's supposed to come out today, but it was just, whoa, well, hold on. <laughs> There's something about when somebody showed up. Now I'm a good surprise. You know. But, but, but you, you, you know, my brother did that to me one time because he was in the United States first. And one day we were home, we looked at the top right, oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to say to you that, 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 that there is something about the surprise. This man came. Here is a point now for intercession, prayer, and intercession. I'm not preaching, I'm teaching that song. Here is a man who is, he showed up now at midnight and he goes. He knocks at the door. So, hey, now the neighbor, let's give the neighbor a name. His name is Johnny. Amen. So this, this man walks up, he says, hey, hey, Johnny! Johnny didn't answer. You read the power? That's right. But he went to the other door. Hey, hey, hey! Johnny! Well, well, well Johnny didn't answer. So he went by the window. <laughs> he said, hey, hey! Johnny! Johnny said, what in the world do you want? Amen. It is past midnight. Amen. My kids are in bed. My wife is asleep. What in the world are you doing here? He said, my, my neighbor, my friend, came into town. I don't have nothing on my table. And I'm hungry. And he's hungry. Help me. And Johnny said, please go away. He went to the back door. Yes, knock again. He said, Johnny, for he that asked him, Yes. Come on now, burn the image up. That was a keep on acting. He kept nothing. 
Yes. Well, everyone but not this, this, yes. there, are, there are some people who know me. They know me enough mm -hmm. that if they are in need mm -hmm. and they come to me, I will bless them if I have it. Mm -hmm. They know I'm aggravated. Amen. They know I'm mad. Mm -hmm. They know I'm saying I'm tired of you coming to me every time you're in need. But they still come. <laughs> and I said to them, please go away. I will never give you another time. And only 30 days roll by. They come again. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Amen. 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 Johnny! Amen. Johnny got mad because he was in this upper class neighborhood. Well, you don't go to somebody's house going, woo-hoo! <laughs> Amen. That's what you do in the ghetto. Amen. Come on now, Red Miss. You don't go to somebody's neighborhood. Because I know where you live. I know where you live. And your neighborhood says, I can't come there. I should fall up the stairs going, eh, 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 woo-hoo! You are going to be a man. You are a teacher. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Amen, you 